Hey guys, today I have a rant video for you today. It's about cars. As you may know, a few months ago I bought a new car. Um, well, not a new car, I bought it used. A um, Mini Cooper 2011. I love it, it's great. Um, and if you may know that after a few years, um, when you buy a car new, I didn't buy it new, but since it's new ish, um, they come with. Um, manufacturer warranties and they come with maintenance plans and things from the dealer and whatnot which is great that's wonderful woohoo free repairs awesome so anyway a few months ago um, back in December around Christmas time I went and I took my car to have the oil changed because I was going to be driving up to visit my family in upstate and I wanted to make sure that everything was all taken care of before I went so I go um he tells me that some my cars um maintenance plan is about to run out within the next couple months um, before it hit a certain amount of miles and if I wanted to extend it I just had to come in before my car hit that amount of miles and pay whatever the amount was and I could extend that plan I'm like okay great thanks I will see you in a few months okay so about a month ago I got a letter in the mail that says like your factory warranty has expired please call this number within um, five days or whatever so that you can do you don't lose this plan you get this deal and I'm like oh okay this must be the warranty that this guy was talking to me about and this is about the time when it was going to be up so totally made sense right no <sighs> anyway so I call this number and they're telling me like the plans and everything and what I need to do to pay for it and I'm like okay that's good um I guess this is what I have to do so I do that then I'm thinking about it I pay it I give them my credit card um I'm thinking about it and I'm like they never said they were from the mini dealership or the pro the place that I had gone to before so I look into it turns out they're not turns out what I bought was something totally different from what I thought I was buying which, yes, it's my fault. I should think of these things. But, whatever. So, I call them back today. And I'm saying, oh, like, I want to cancel my plan. Because they said, oh, you have 30 days. You can decide if you want a refund, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So, I call them. You know, of course, these salespeople, they're like, well, why do you want a refund? Why do you want it? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So annoying. Anyway, so I finally get to the bottom of it. I call, I talked through someone and I was like oh you know it's just a little too expensive and she's like okay well we can get you a cheaper like some cheaper options more payment plans so they took five hundred dollars off that's good then I'm like okay this sounds good and then I hang up but then I call my dealership and I get something I they tell me what I should have had in the first place which is something totally different and so then I make an appointment with them and then I call back the first place, and I say, oh, I did this, and then they explain to me that what I got from the dealership, which is nice, isn't actually what will benefit me the most in the long run. And so then they took another $200 off for me, which was, again, good, yes, okay, so now I have $800 off. Um, yeah. 500 200 Oh, no, they took another $300 off. They took $800 off the original thing that I was going to get originally which is good and yes I'm getting the benefits but I'm also like wait but what did I want from the dealer in the first place so then I called the dealer back figured everything out realized that I didn't need the original the thing that I thought I needed from the dealer because it works out to be the same price in the long run as regular maintenance throughout the year and that the second option was actually better as like an insurance coverage for any repairs that I'm going to need within the next five years and now I have like $800 less than I originally thought I did. So I'm going back to the first people that were actually the second people. And basically it's a very confusing and it's a very annoying process. And I just wish that these car companies could be straightforward with you, you know. They tell you everything. They tell you all the fees that are there. They don't try to upsell you. I mean, I know sales. I worked. I worked in retail sales before and I know about upselling. I'm not an idiot, but it's just annoying, you know, especially when it's the amount of money that it is. Like cars are not cheap. 
obviously, and anything related to a car is not cheap, which is why I understand they want me to have these plans, but why can't you just be straightforward? Why? It's really stupid. Okay, well, that's the end of my rant. I'm trying to think of something cheery to say that's on a good note. Like my shirt? <laughs> it says, dance until you can't. That's a good shirt, right? I'm going to go dance now, actually. I have to go to work. Oh, Squishy's going to come say hi. Say hello to Squishy. What? Say hi. He's like, I don't know how I feel about this. Alright, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my rant. Leave a comment below saying the worst car experience you have ever had. Yes, that will make me feel better. Alright guys, bye.